If you're struggling to get your YouTube banner the correct size, you're not alone. And today's Canva tutorial is going to show you a simple trick on how to get your banner the right size every single time. So let's look up YouTube banner. When we do that, we get a template or a blank one that is exactly 2560 pixel by 1440 pixel. This is important. You need this very, very large size. We're just going to make a blank banner because this isn't teaching you how to make a banner. It's teaching you how to get the right size for a banner. And if you look at my banner right here, you're going to notice that it is very short. This is not that short. So let me show you the trick. We're going to type R on the keyboard. Now, if for some reason your keyboard shortcuts aren't working, you can always go to elements, click on a square shape. But what we're going to do is size this square so that your YouTube banner shows up correctly on mobile devices. And also it's going to help you with your desktop banner as well. And you can size it using the handles. However, you want a very specific size. So to do that, we're going to go to position underneath the arrange column here. You're going to change the height to be 423. This is the exact height of this banner right here. The other thing you want to do is change your width to be 1546. And after you do that, you're going to put this in the center and the middle. Focus all of your attention right here. That's for mobile. What, what about desktop? Let me just show you what the desktop view looks like. I clicked L on the keyboard and I'm just going to bring here. I sized it across. I'm going to click duplicate and bring that down. This section right here is where you're going to build your channel art for desktop. Even though, honestly, there's no real reason to um, put anything over here on the side because a new update within YouTube is that there are no more clickable links in the banner. Those are no more. They are listed right here under the description for your channel. If I click that, it's going to pull up an about page and then all of my links are there. You're going to see that I kept my banner very, very simple. I've got the name. I've got a little logo here. I've got my value proposition. Learn how to use Canva for YouTube. So this is how you can verify that the design that you make is right left click with my mouse and selected everything and then we're just going to click lock everything's locked down i can build a banner on top of this let me show you how i would use that little rectangle to check on my banners let me click banner well i spelled it wrong but that's all right here's my most recent youtube banner if i take this let me unlock it I'm going to click Control X on my keyboard and then I'm going to Control V right on top. And you're going to see that the most important stuff is right within that rectangle. I always highly recommend when you have a YouTube banner document, you have that little rectangle with that right size so that you can check it before you even upload it to your YouTube channel. If you need to know more about designing a YouTube banner, let me know in the comments and I will share with you a video that I've done most recently. You might also be wondering if there are other things that you can do that's going to elevate your YouTube channel. Click into this video right here. It's going to share with you a way to make your videos a little more 